Hello, today is Sunday, June 29th, and welcome to my channel where I have created yet another new instrument. Right now, what you're seeing in front of you is what's called a cymatic plate. A cymatic plate, or the simulation of a cymatic plate, is basically a plate where there's sand or some kind of grain material on top of this elastic metal plate that when a sound is applied to the plate, the sand vibrates in a particular fashion. And the purpose of this plate and this uh, sand being on this plate is to visualize the spatial distribution of sound as it integrates or interacts with this grainy material. And so because of the way that sound works, essentially propagating using the 2D wave equation, the 2D wave equation has, uh, it's a differential equation, which when you solve it, has certain modes of operation. And these modes are essentially the resonant frequencies or the resonant patterns of the wave. And uh, so a little more on what happens there. Essentially, these grains, when... Um, now, this isn't a perfect... I, I just want to say this isn't a perfect cymatic representation. It gives you kind of the idea. And uh, these modes here kind of are the harmonic modes in two dimensions of the actual sand as it uh, interacts with the incoming frequency that's hitting the plate, essentially. So um, what I can do with this mixer here is essentially create different patterns. And what I can do is I can control the distribution of sand grains uh, and also the size of the sand grains, which have a profound effect on the actual patterns because of the mechanics of the sand and the actual grains interacting with each other and with the plates around them. So, uh, or with the sound waves around them and incident on them. So, for example, I can do also other things. For example, increase the speed of motion of the sands. The, I can increase the, damp increase the damping factor of the incoming wave. Because remember, waves and wave mechanics require um, you to consider things like damping of the actual material, damping from the air, damping, uh, essentially, which arises in the form of the coefficients. And so I can also change the color distribution here. And as you can see, these uh, harmonics are based on the fundamentals, which correspond to notes on uh, the keyboard. And I have a keyboard on the bottom, which is uh, demonstrating the notes that are played. So basically what I can do is I can actually um, do things like play songs, right? Uh, because I have notes, and if I play them, put the entire song here I just wanted to demonstrate that if you wanted to see kind of the physical effect of music on uh, this material it's an interesting uh, visualization and also changing the the different patterns of the grains the structure of the grains will elicit different patterns so again um, and also you know what I can change the distribution to be this distribution means essentially how concentrated the grains are on average on the plate next to each other versus how far they are. I use the Gaussian kernel essentially to create uh, different kinds of normal distributions, um, two-dimensional normal distributions, uh, essentially radial basis functions that kind of um, help kind of create different visualizations. So, um, and then what I can do finally is I have this generative mode, which I can And so what will happen is that this is a completely sort of dissonant song that's playing. And let's just change the vibrancy and see how that looks like. And maybe the grain size is a little larger. about the core of the uh, 
tool that I wanted to show you. I'm going to be augmenting this a little more because this is actually interesting for potentially like scientific research and things like that, though many people do study cymatics. And um, as you can see, the mathematics that gives rise to these patterns is, even though you're not seeing the actual equations, is regular and quite interesting and, you know, on the order of what, of interest of what gives rise to fractal patterns. So, yeah, just something to think about. Anyway, uh, uh, I hope you have a good day. If you like my video, like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and with that being said, have a good uh, summer. I'll see you later.